All right, we're going to take a look at Golang's file system layout. And what you're going to notice is our code's going to be in two different locations. One of them is going to be where the SDK is installed, and the other one's going to be where our workspace is, the applications we're creating are going to exist. So your system's going to need to know the locations of both of these resources in order to utilize them. And it's going to do that through system variables. And for this, we're going to set two different system variables. For where we have Go installed, we need to set a path that your system can use to find where it's installed. And that one's going to be called Go Root. And on the other hand, where we're putting our applications, where our workspace is, you know, that system variable is going to be the Go path. And just looking at where these might be on your system, for instance, uh, let's say on Windows, under the C directory, you might have Go installed just directly inside the C directory. And you could have your workspace there as well. You could have your workspace anywhere you want it to be. You just need to make sure that your Go path is pointing to that location. And just as another example, let's say if you're on Linux, you may have Go installed under root users local and then in a folder named Go. And you may have your workspace, for instance, under root users home and then Go workspace or Go code, whatever you want to call it. And let's go ahead and pull up our editor here. And I'm at my, my workspace. And inside there I have a bin folder, a package folder, and a source folder. I'm going to make this real short. We'll cover this later. The bin folder is going to have your binaries or, or your executables. Packages are going to be packages from the internet. You know, many times you, you'll be pulling things from GitHub. And source is going to be the, app, the apps that we created. So I have a directory named my app inside of source with a, fi with a main.go file. And as you can see here, I have everything I need to run this application. Just a standard hello world application. And if I was to put in go run, I'd have to have my go root and go path set correctly for that to run. If you don't have your go path set correctly, you're not going to be able to interact with your workspace uh, uh, correctly with the go tools. And if you don't have the go root set correctly, you won't be able to run any of the Go commands at all. So if you wanted to check if you have your Go root and Go path set correctly, the Go environment command will pull up a whole bunch of different variables. And as you can see here, we have Go root underneath the uh, C directory and its own directory name go and we have go path as well and it's in this instance it's under the C slash workspace slash slash go workspace and if either of these two weren't set correctly you'd obviously have to go and set them again <laughs>